Hi guys. So, uh, seen a lot of people doing carvings um, recently on the on Facebook and in groups and things. So I'm stuck without a um, a spoon knife at the moment, a hook knife. So I've got this. I've got a Gerber multi tool which the blade comes in quite handy for actually, I've got to admit. Um, it's a very old blade, it's been sharpened many a time. But it's got a serrated edge on it as well. Um, it's quite an old one, I think it's a, an old scout or something. I've also got my Mora 101, which she used to cut more of the beef off of this. And just to get it started, I use my World Regal Lansky. So, I'm down to obviously this knife now, but I keep chopping back to this one as well. I'll show you why in a second. Just trying to, this is a one knife long handled spoon. Well, I say one knife, straight edged knife long handled spoon only so because I don't actually own a hook knife at the moment then to be honest I can't afford to purchase one so oh, that's been much better this is what I've come up with so basically it's a long handle going to a spoon Can you see the bowl I've managed to get with a straight knife? I don't know if it really shows you. Um, but I put my finger in the bowl, wasn't it? It's not deep, um, because obviously I can't make it deep because I don't have a spoon knife. But with the way that I've been doing it, on the back edge of the spoon here, I've been digging the tip of this one in and curling it around get that bit at the back then as you can see I don't know if you can see it. it's not probably the best video so just so you can see where I've been digging it in curling it round get the curl at the back of the spoon then I'm going in and I'm bringing in the knife and using my fingers to roll it through keeping the blade I don't know if you can really see there so i'm using my finger as a guide along across the front of the spoon to stop the, the back of the blade here digging into the front of the spoon so so i saw this beaming right in my eye so yeah um so as you can see i'm just trying to show you see so digging it in rolling it around digging it in rolling it around and each time I'm just working my way out, there we go. Just let me pop it all down again now. So then back in and roll it around again. And then it leaves you with a bit of a fluffy bit inside. So this is what I've come up with. With the, there it is, there it is. the Mora 101. Yeah, I'll just put this one away before I stab myself. That'd be a great video, wouldn't it? Because the blade is quite, it's got quite a, a curve to it. And because of the spoon, you can't, I couldn't do a shorter spoon, but I could get away with, I don't know if you can see it on video, but I'm using my thumb just to put the pressure on slightly and curl it round. So, I can't wait. keep going out of video. Now this is hard with this knife because obviously the blade's a lot longer. You can't get right up on the tip where you want to be. Hence, well, I thought my Gerber might come in handy and do a bit better, which it has done a treat. 
It really has. It's like Gerber, Leverman's, whatever you've got. As long as it's sharp and small, anything is I have to open it up sometimes just to get the angle that I want. Now I don't believe in um, sanding these spoons and that. If you're carving, you're carving, that's it. I don't believe in getting sandpaper and sanding them down. So what I do is I use each knife. And I literally just scrape it very gently along all the way with the blade side. And then, once I've done the entire bowl, I will probably, if there's any loose bits, as you saw me doing earlier, just lightly using that sharp edge on the back of that one on that one it's not as sharp it's like to dull down a bit to be honest but I've got a nice edge on this one and it just literally takes any of the sharp edges off and that yeah it gives you a bit of fluff but it's doing what it needs to do to make it nice and smooth. So, hopefully, uh, I'm gonna call it the one knife challenge, or, well no, I'm gonna call it the straight blade challenge. So, straight blade, any straight blade you got, can't be a hooked blade, can't be a spork knife, a, a ring knife or whatever. Um, I just wanna finish, as you can see, I've got this bit pretty much finished. I'm gonna leave a lump here, because there's a knot just there which I want to keep in it so I want to keep this lump here I'm just going to bring this in so it's the same as this um, but uh, yeah it's just so it's still sitting out here in the sun you see I'm absolutely covered um, before everything's covered so yeah Get your straight blade out, have a go at a, a bowl. Look at that bowl. Oh, it actually looks quite good on camera. Um, you can see the fairy bits there. I'll probably just get a light to them, to be honest. Um, and then oil. So, obviously, I haven't done that knot section or the bell section yet. But, uh, nice long handled spoon but it just goes to show it can be done it just has to be a long spoon bowl obviously that's quite a long spoon bowl um more of a, a ladle spoon i suppose than a you could eat off of it i suppose this guys my three straight blade change i know this one's serrated there but i mean they're straight blades they're not hooks this is my spoon A bit more fluff there, I can see on the back of the spoon. Just there, I need to burn that back off again. I don't know if you noticed, but I did refine my spoon a little bit more. Just so it was a bit smaller on the neck here, it came out a little bit thicker, and I've just refined it down a little bit more. There's a bit of a lump there, I might take that out there. You can see. I mean, not bad. It's a good long inner spoon, but uh, it gets shallow as it gets to the end, deeper at the back. Um, only because it was the end of the piece of wood I had, 
and I wanted a long end of the spoon and because there's nothing at this end to grab hold of above the spoon bowl so up here you can't get the angle that you need to get when you want to get into there and make it nice and deep curl it around but yeah I'm very happy I've actually managed to uh, get a spoon out of uh, three presumably normal blades that I would imagine everyone's got so it's the Mora 101 Classic, Mora Carver and just a Gerber multi-tool thing with a, a half serrated half straight blade on it but I only wanted it for the tip just to do the round section here at the back because otherwise it's going to end up really shallow like this one and I didn't want that so you can probably actually see if I hold it if I can if I can hold it at the right angle which I don't think I can for the camera um, so you can actually see here in the spoon it shallows up as it comes up and out of the bowl so you can actually see that as you go down in the wood grains if you look at the wood grains where I've burnt the bowl slightly you can see it becomes shallower at the front edge there um, but yeah that, there's definitely some fluffy bits on there so I'll get them burnt off with the lighter it's got any gas left in it um, I tend to use just a, a cheap windproof lighter although it's not the best one I've got here mate so pressure on right from the very end you can see the flex in it and then, so even though it looks narrow guys that is actually a very strong spoon so, I love the fact that it's a, a crooked handle actually reminds me of an old witch's broom Put the spoon on the bottom rather than the brumhead. <laughs>